The last few months of our lives have been understandably difficult due to the pandemic. Even people who aren't affected by the virus find themselves affected in very many ways by things that happen during quarantine. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm a person who always likes to look on the bright side and therefore I've come up with 10 things that are actually good about being in quarantine. I'm Linda, this is Linda's World, this is Top 10 Tuesdays, and I'm going to start counting down those good things about quarantine right now. Hey, all you who cats and kittens. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I've been wanting to say that on camera for some time now. Um, I would just like to begin by saying that I mean absolutely no disrespect to people whose lives have been negatively impacted by this pandemic and therefore have no idea how to look on the bright side about this. Um, I know that a lot of families have been negatively impacted financially, medically, and so forth. I am personally acquainted with a few people who unfortunately have not made it out the other side. And so my hearts go out to those people who are incapable of looking on the bright side as I am trying to tonight. I'd also like to say that if you're just finding this video by happenstance and you're not yet a member of Linda's World, why don't you go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button down below and hit the notification bell while you're at it so you can tell when new videos drop to this channel. Linda's World is an inspirational channel, a place to come to get the tools you need to live your best life, even when you're not exactly living your best life. And now, in an effort to do exactly what I preach, I'm gonna look on the bright side and tell you 10 cool things about quarantine. Okay, now I should start out this countdown by saying that I am a high school English teacher in New York City, and they have told us that we do not have to report back to work till the end of the school year. I have been remote teaching since the end of March. I love it. I could do this for the next 12 years of my career. Many of my colleagues don't feel the same as me, but you know what? They don't have to live with me. So <laughs> there's, it is what it is. Um, I, you know, as an introvert by nature, I could tell you that this has been actually really, really cool. Um, I just got my new order of the updated tracksuit here. I'm not gonna have to stand up. Yeah, now it's gonna mess up the camera. Um, but as you can plainly see, I'm fully embracing being a homebody. Um, and so that's, you know, um, something that the list will reflect. But anyway, no further ado, let's get to the list. Okay, now these aren't in any particular order. I fully admit that this evening I was too lazy to put them in order from 10 through one. So you make up your minds randomly as to which ones you think that I'm most proud of. Okay, all right, <clears throat> so, one of the things that is very, very cool about being in quarantine is the fact that it is an introvert's paradise. Mm -hmm. I said it. There are t-shirts out there that say social distancing queen, and I kind of almost pulled the trigger the other day to buy one, and I was like, I don't know, like, do I advertise that, or like, is it going to like lose um, momentum or like, you know, meaningfulness? Is that a word? Um, when um, when the quarantine is over, like social distancing queen. But then I thought, Linda, you should buy it anyway because you are the social distancing queen because you're not a people person. So there. So that is my proof that this right now is an introvert's paradise. If you don't feel like socializing, guess what? You're not allowed to by law anyway. So ha, right? Okay. So as you can plainly see, I'm reaping the benefits of that. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing on the list is that you can have endless amounts of joy in your quarantine, online shopping. Okay, online shopping is a wonderful thing. Now, I understand that there are people whose jobs have been cut because of this and they're not doing much of anything. In fact, they're struggling to make ends meet as I sit here talking to you. But here's the thing, I'm not rolling in dough either and I, um, you know, my situation, I'm gonna have a job to, to that pays me, which is something I'm very fortunate for. But even those people who don't have the money to spend it can have a great deal of fun whittling away hours online, going to Amazon or Etsy or, or eBay or whatever it is, you know, Mercari or whatever, whatever the hell website people go to, to like look for stuff that they buy, like home decor, like overstock.com or whatever, right? To just like make their homes beautiful or make them their, their person beautiful, going to the websites of Sephora and Ulta, just building a cart, right? And you always have the option to hit save for later so that when and if you get the money, you can buy those awesome items. And you're given the time 
to do so because you're in quarantine. How awesome is that? How do you think I got this tracksuit? <laughs> okay, um, the next one. Okay, so the, um, okay, the third one is that there is contactless delivery. Yeah. That's right. Many of the um, chain restaurants, I know Domino's for a fact actually is doing this. Um, they will literally, if you need to eat, um, they will literally drop a bag of food in front of your door and scurry away. And I think that's beautiful. Um, almost every place that is still open and preparing food is um, going to deliver you food. So if you're sitting there and it's 630 at night and you say, I want dinner, you can get dinner. Um, provided you have the money and you don't even have to speak to a human you could actually literally push a whole bunch of stuff on the screen of your phone and like half an hour later a meal appears at your door and you didn't even have to have that awkward exchange with the guy and look at his face when the tip is enough you know I mean I'm a horrendous over tipper but I know I'm I'm, I'm in the minority there <laughs> you know so it's just really really cool contactless delivery I think is really awesome in fact I think that I think that it's time that I try out that Domino's contactless delivery because I think I have my eye on some Asiago pizza with spinach on it, but enough about me. Okay, um, next one is actually really, really a fun one. No alarm. Mm-hmm, I said it. Now, I'm one of those people who actually gets up anyway, like my brain, like, you ever see Seinfeld when Kramer talks about his mental alarm? Like, I'm the kind of person who wakes up like 20 times a night and then finally, when I see sun, I get up, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, have I overslept? Of course, you know, but for the most part, <clears throat> I've got Kramer's mental alarm, so I don't have to worry if I don't make it to online teaching at nine. Normally, um, if, I, if I were to go to work, I would have to be there at nine, so that means I have to get up at seven o'clock, and I would have to dress myself and go outside, and I don't have to do that. As per the tracksuit, I keep on reflecting back on. You see, I could wear this in my house, so I don't have to worry about getting up, getting ready, and going outside, and getting there on time. I just am alarm free and it's effing awesome. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> continuing with the same line of thinking, I would like to say very much that you don't have to wear any uncomfortable clothes. I'm not even gonna mention the tracksuit anymore, okay? Uncomfortable clothes are the hallmark of the working man or woman. Um, this goes for shoes, ladies. I don't know how many of you have had to put on a pair of high heels in the last month or so, but Probably not, and that's awesome. And nothing is worse than like you're on your way home from like a long day and like everything about you hurts and your feet hurt and if you, if you don't take off that sweater or that blazer or that tie or whatever, like in a hurry, like you're gonna like start, start like running screaming down the street, you know? Or is it just me that I'm such a homebody that I love wearing comfortable clothes? I don't know. But there are lots of jobs out there where you literally can't wear comfortable clothes, so it's awesome. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So next up on our list is you can have the cleanest house ever. Okay. The cleanest house ever. And I think that's really a cool thing. Now there's a lot of people who don't place any value on that. I've gone several rounds with my best friend who believes that um, a person who spends their time cleaning their own home is a person who's of low intelligence because they because people who are truly smart have bigger fish to fry. And I understand that there's college professors who are messy or whatever, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about dirt, you know? And in this time of a pandemic, when they're telling us to make sure to wipe shit down all the time, well, if you can find the damn cleaning products in the store, which has been an issue in my neighborhood, um, <clears throat> you've got all the time in the world to use them. Um, my mother is like rewashing the same couple of dishes, you know, like she's, she's, she's like, my house is clean already, what do I do? You know, and I saw a meme today that said my house after quarantine and it was just like all sparkling, like it was like this, it was like a pic of a kitchen, but like diamonds flashing. And I was like, well, yeah, okay, remember in Annie, this dump will shine like the top of the Chrysler building. <laughs> yeah because we have the time to do it, right? Okay, so next up on the list, ladies and gentlemen, liquor stores deliver. That's right, I said it. You can get a delivery of liquor. See, the thing is that liquor stores don't want you in there, okay? Um, because they're essential workers, which to me is hilarious. Don't even get me started on why that's funny. But, um, but the liquor stores don't want you in there because you're, gonna, you're supposed to be staying at home, right? 
So if you want vodka, if you need tequila, it's cool. They'll get a box, they'll put the bottles in there, and there'll be a guy show up at your door, just like the contactless food delivery guy, and he will be contactless liquor delivery man. That's ridiculous. That's insane. Like, people who enjoy drinking won the lottery there. So, just saying. All right. Okay. So, we're getting... We're getting through this list here, folks. So I would like to add time to read. Okay. Now, who among us hasn't been offered a book or seen a book that we want to read or thought about a book that we've had on the shelf that we purchased a long time ago? Do people still buy books or am I old? I don't know. Am I, is that like a teacher thing? I don't know. Anyway, um, and so you literally can sit and read a book you know, and that's awesome. You know, it could be like 2.30 in the afternoon and you could sit and bring your book to the chair and open it and read from it. It's great, okay? I don't get to do this during the school year because I have to do work for them and so I don't get to do work for me. And as a person who reads and a person who writes, mind you, I let that shit pile up, you know, and it's officially, um, I can work through the pile now and that's awesome. Now, if you're not a reader, swap out TV series. Okay, and that brings us to the next item on my list. Tiger King. Oh my god, Tiger King was a blessing from the quarantine gods that came to us just when we needed it the most. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Tiger King is the story. It's a Netflix documentary that comes in, I believe, eight parts that I blew through in about a day and a half. And it tells the story of this guy whose name is Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic is a guy in Florida who has um, a mullet that is bleach blonde. He is gay. He is um, very countrified. He has multiple husbands at the same time. He runs a place that is an exotic animals, um, like a big cat um, wildlife place where you could go and like, take pictures with you and a tiger and everything. And, <clears throat> and there's allegations that he's like abusing the tiger and abusing his staff. And he's obsessively obsessively hating on this woman named Carol Baskin who runs a like a senior big cat sanctuary and takes care of the animals because they've been exploited. And this question as to whether or not Carol Baskin like killed her husband because he disappeared some years ago and like um, fed him to the tigers. And Joe Exotic wants to kill Carol Baskin because she's cutting in this business. It's, I, it's, it's okay, like the, the term shit show the tame train wreck, the, the, the tame, but can, I'm not speaking English today. But it's, it's, you see, that's what happens when you're in quarantine. Um, but holy cow, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Tiger King was a gift from above when we needed it the most. People were like, oh man, I've run out of stuff to do. And they sat and they put on the Netflix and they watched that show. And I have my theories about Tiger King. I have my theories about Carol Baskin and her dead husband. And I'm not gonna tell them to you tonight, I'm gonna ask you to comment down below if you feel as though Carol uh, killed her husband and fed him to the tigers. Whose side are you on? Do you think that Joe is blowing things out of proportion? Do you think Carol's blowing things out of Well, how do you feel about Tiger King? I'm anxious to know, so please do me a favor. If you've seen the series, comment down below. I've gotta know, because I've got my ideas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, piling on the list. Next is another beautiful thing about television. It's YouTube, yes. There you go. Now, you're on YouTube right now, so you wanna know. Now, think about it. When in the world, besides like your lunch hour, right, have you had the time to literally go through, if it's your phone, go like this, or if it's your remote and TV, go like this, and, or space bar, okay, <laughs> on your own, whatever, and just look for random shit to watch that means nothing, okay? Like when, like, you know, like a cat flushing a toilet, as they used to say, or stuff that has meaning. Like, for example, a how-to to learn how to do something, okay? Like, want to start learning how to knit? Watch a YouTube video. Want to know how to apply winged eyeliner? Watch a YouTube video. Want to wanna see a lady who is adopting a dog today and takes him to his new home? Watch a YouTube video. Just um, want to see, want to see Ariana Grande giggling, you know, for six minutes straight? Watch a YouTube channel like you know that's uh, they have everything there's something for everybody on YouTube and hopefully you know at least some of those people who are watching it are watching this and other youtubers like me or not like me and people who are content creators can shine because everybody's home with the ability and the time to watch their stuff so YouTube yeah all right ladies and gentlemen we 
have reached the end of the list. And I would like to say very much that while this list may have been a little scattered and a little bit disorganized and um, not in any particular order, I, well, the list is like my brain <laughs> because I have been home now for three weeks, um, going into the fourth. And as I said that before, and I, um, you know, it's weird. I saw a meme that said, um, you know, um, it was just the days the calendar were crossed out and it just said day, 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 like they crossed out the month, the twos, right? And so that's sort of how it is. But <clears throat> the thing is that, um, I guess in my point is that if you don't want to be as like all over the place as I am in this video today, then I think the key here is to make as good a use of your time doing what I said or anything. Okay, um, and f and work it out so that Monday has meaning, Tuesday has meaning, and so on and so on and so on. And that weekends are still precious because you're not doing whatever you did during the week or whatever. You know, like work out a balance for your own self and figure out what of these things or other things you want to experience to make your quarantine life better. I know we're all suffering in very many ways as things that we don't have at the moment that you know, we can definitely use. And I am not a stranger to this. My hair has never been this dark before. My dog is desperately in need of a haircut. I discovered that when you put press on nails, you get fungus underneath if you don't take care of them. Um, so yeah, there's lots of stuff out there that is not cool. Um, and I'm talking just strictly trivially now. As I said in the introduction, I understand that these are trivial things. I'm speaking from the point of view of someone who doesn't have an immediate connection to the tragedy, okay? Um, and so, therefore, I conclude by saying, this is what it is. And I would be remiss if I didn't try to share what it is that I've been doing or the, some of the things that I think are cool because, you know, you have to make your own way in this world and you also have to make your own way and navigate through tragedies such as this. And also, it wouldn't hurt to try to see what's positive about a negative situation sometimes because that's what keeps us... Um, that's what keeps us sane, and that's what keeps us having a smile every once in a while that isn't fake, you know? So that's what I've done this evening, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm going to go now, and I'm going to find something else to watch. Um, I'm actually watching something really embarrassing on YouTube right now. <laughs> Ask me in the comments. And I will see you guys later in the week with something extra special for you, because like I said, I've got time. <laughs>